Let's talk about some basics of logarithms. Logs are the inverse of exponential functions. The way we write them looks a lot like this little basic example right here. Log base b of x is how we read that. Where b as our base has to be greater than zero, so it has to be positive, and it's not equal to one. It can just be about anything else other than that. Common log, which we write as log, and it's found on our calculator as just that button, log, has a base of 10. If you don't see another number, you can understand that it's just a 10 that's understood to be there. Natural log, which is LN on your calculator, and that's the way we write it, usually lowercase, but on your calculator it's capitalized, has a base of E. So I put down here a note. If the log has no specified base, it is assumed to be a common log. So it would have 10 or E for the base. Let's look at some examples. So for our first examples, we are going to practice rewriting because sometimes we need this in order to solve log equations or exponential, <coughs> excuse me, exponential equations. So how to rewrite a log equation in exponential form, I use like a little cloud to help me remember. So you start with the base. We're going to rewrite it without the log. So you write 5 to the third power equals 125 one step. But notice how that also does make mathematical sense. So when it's only numbers you're dealing with, it should also come out as a true statement. So 5 cubed is 125, but we're just rewriting, so we just leave it like that. On number 2, rewrite it without log. So take the base to this power equals whatever is sitting right here that you're taking the log of. So I'm going to rewrite it as 6 to the negative 2 power is equal to 1 over 36. And again, we're just rewriting, so leave it like that. On number three, we have a natural log, but there's no base written, so we understand that that's an E right there. Natural log has a base of E. So we say E to the 1.609 power is equal to 5. And again, we're just rewriting right now, so leave it like that. Log has no base, so we understand there's an understood 10. So 10 to the fourth power equals 10,000. And I notice that is true. But we're just practicing rewriting, so leave it like that. For the bottom part of the board, we're going to look at the reverse. If we have an exponential equation, how do you write it with the log? How do you write it in log form? So for number one, notice 7 is our base. It has an exponent of 3, so it's going to become our base when I write it with log. So log base 7 of 343 equals 3. So that same little pattern that helped us up here can also help us down here. Number two, we take the base, so write log base 3 of 1 over 81 equals the exponent, I'm running out of board, which equals negative 4. For number 3, we have an E, so we're going to rewrite it with a natural log. So I'm going to write natural log with a base of E of 20.086 equals 3. And over here we have a 10, so we write log, I'm going to squeeze it in, base 10, so you don't have to write the 10, but you can, of 1 million equals the exponent, which was 6. So again, this is just practice on rewriting from one form to the other, because sometimes when we're solving, we need to do this part. We've got to cover some basics before we solve equations with logs. All right, so let's look at this other basic thing we need to know, change of base property. This helps us type things in our calculator that otherwise we wouldn't be able to to get a value. So change of base tells us when we have log base b of x, we can type it in as log of x divided by the log of the base. And this accounts for the fact that in our calculator, the log button has a base of 10. So when you have another base other than 10, you need to use this formula. So for problems like 1, 2, and 3, you can type those directly in the calculator. 
log of 17 can just be typed right in the calculator. So if you try that, you should end up with 1.230. And if you type in natural log of 17, so you can practice and make sure you get the same numbers I do, you should get 2.833. And if you type in log of negative 1, you should get an error message because you cannot take the log of a negative. That does not work. And we'll talk more about that when we're solving log equations. So what do we do when we end up with negatives? Log base 4 of 12, we can't type in our calculator just like it looks because log in our calculator has a base of 10. So we need to use our change of base property. So it states that we can type in log of 12 as long as we divide by log of that base that's not 10. And then I've already typed that in, and that came out as 1.792. Again, you should try those to make sure you can get the same thing I do. And then for number 5, we can't type in log base 20, so again, we could use change of base to type in log of 26.3. that darker divided by log of the base which is not 10 so we have to account for that and I got 1.091 and on number six I can't type log of five in my calculator so I would type in log of 125 divided by log of five and you should end up with that but just check these and make sure you can get these